Hello everyone, welcome back. It's such a beautiful day here in Japan today. I want to build another mini rice fish pond. We've got one right here. I'll give you a closer look. Look at this. This is really looking good right now. This plant right here, this is some kind of philodendron plant. I'm not so sure exactly what type, but in Japanese we call it the Yamazaki Kazura and it's starting to look really nice. This here is some type of Echinodorus. Uh, some type of sword plant and I've cut up some of the leaves because they weren't doing so well but you can see there are new leaves starting to come up so I'm excited to get some rice fish for this really really soon. Today however we are going to be setting up a mini rice fish pond just out there on my aunt and uncle's little patio. You can see, I'm not so sure how well you can see this but you can see there three little rice fish ponds, one, two, and three. We'll, we'll take a closer look later, but we're gonna be adding one more into the collection. Quick update on the 60p planted aquarium. I'm gonna call it a 60p aquarium because that's the name of this tank. Cube Garden 60p. And some of you guys were asking the dimensions. It's 60 cm side to side, uh, 30 cm front to back, and 36 cm top, top to bottom, bottom to top. Yeah, and the plants are looking amazing. I love this. There's no algae um, except on the glass, which I'm going to have to scrape off, scrub off, and I'm going to have to do a trimming soon. You can see the plants are growing like crazy. The shrimp have also been doing such a great job um, cleaning up the tank. Look at them. Such hard workers. Love these shrimp. And we're gonna have to add fish to this tank soon. Comment down below, what fish would you add to this tank? I've already got something in mind, um, but I think I'll keep that a secret. Maybe someone will guess it in the comments below, but let's see what you guys would put. All right, why is it so bright out here? Hold on guys, so much better. All right, so there's a few things I wanna do today. This one, we're gonna set this up right now. Well, in just a moment, but it's kind of dirty, so we're gonna have to wash it. Um, but right here, quick update on these guys, looking beautiful. Look at this hydrocotyl verticillata, however you say that, I have no clue, but I'll call it the mushroom plant. It's huge, but of course there are some smaller ones here. Oh, this isn't, this is a different plant, but there are some smaller ones like you can see right here but some of the leaves get absolutely massive, it's crazy. But it makes such good hiding spots for these little rice fish. Man, they just love it. I love these fish. And we've got some toys for them. Well, it's not actually a toy, but it's just something fun that we can add. It's a feature, a feature we can add to this pond. What is this little feature? Well, we're gonna check it out right now. So right here, I got this thing last year and I haven't opened it up yet. All right, check this out. This is a ceramic, I'm not so sure what you call this, a ceramic thing with holes in it. And then we've got another ceramic thing with more holes in it. And what you do is you put this on the base of the pond, put this on top. You've got a little rice fish house. I've got a pot in there with some lily pads that are like little baby lily pads you'll see later. I'll put that on top of here so the rice fish if they want they can go and hide in this little thing. This thing is heavy. So right here I'm not so sure how well you can see but there are some small little lily pads starting to come out. There is a small little ceramic pot in there so I've got to get that out too. This thing was inside. Very cool, look at the snails on there. Whoa, take a look at this guys, is that a blood worm? Can you guys see that thing moving right in the center of the screen? And there's a few of them, that's crazy. What the heck is that? This is the pot that was at the bottom, so it's kind of cool to see that. I'm not sure, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I have no idea, but I think we should feed those blood worms to the rice fish. So I'm pretty sure those were little blood worms and unfortunately there's not enough for everyone to eat but there is enough donuts. So 
This right here, I think is one of the coolest fish foods because it's a little donut that floats on top of the water surface and when the fish go at it, it's really cute, really fun to watch. Check this out. All right, so right there is where we're gonna be building the mini pond. Right here is my uncle's mini pond. Look at it, look at all this lily pads growing like crazy. And the fish are all inside. I'll try to get some underwater shots of them. It's hard to see them because they are all the way down in there, but really amazing stuff. Let's go and take a look at the smaller ones. All right, all right, so here it is. So right here, there's some adults. Red ones, white ones, really nice. And then over here we've got some regular, these are just called the black rice fish. Um, yeah, you can see they are beautiful. And then over here, check this out. This is just insane. Look at all the amount of babies in here. There's a ton of them. And we really want to get a bigger uh, a bigger setup for these guys because we want them to grow up healthy and you can see they are just looking incredible man there's a couple of hundred in there for sure and these if you guys are wondering these are the babies of these two so it's kind of mixed and then right here we're gonna be building our own little mini pond and first thing I've got to do is clean this up So my uncle wants to say something. これは何ですか?これはドリアン。ドリアンですか。今年の夏で3年になります。え、3年かけ8年と言いますので、今年の夏には実がなると思います。以上。Okay, oh. oh. <laughs> so it's a <laughs> it's a little durian tree that he's been raising for 3 years and He's hoping, it's, it's probably not going to happen, but he's hoping that we'll get some durian fruits. And this is, this is quite cool because you don't get durian trees in Japan. We brought this, we, we brought a seed from Singapore, planted it, and we got this little tree. So it's like a durian bonsai tree. Yeah, I'm not so sure why, but my uncle just wanted to say that. Yesterday I went out and I got this little wabikusa um, you'll get a closer look at it later when we set this thing up, but th that's gonna be the main, the focal point of this little pond. So we're gonna get some substrate in here and it, it's a very simple setup, you'll see. So for soil, I am going a bit extra and I'm gonna be using some ADA Amazonia soil. You really don't need soil for this. You can just take your wabikusa, put it in, fill it up with water and it's good to go. But I want to go with some good soil because I want this thing to last for years. And the nice thing about wabikusa like this is that they can go through the winter. The leaves will wither, it'll turn brown and will die off. But when spring comes, new plants will start growing out again and it's a new cycle. The first layer of substrate is very, very thin. You can see. Just by doing that, you can already see the bottom of the pot, but grab your wabikusa. If you're in America, I'm not so sure where you can get this, but I think a few places online sells them. So if you can, maybe you can try to pick one of these up. So there it is. I'm not so sure what plant this is, but there's a few different plants on this. I wonder where I should put it in the middle, on the side. The middle would be nice. Just add just a little bit more soil just to like kind of hold the wabikusa in place. I forgot to give you guys a closer look at the wabikusa. The thing is, I don't know what plants these are. So if you know what this is, please comment down below. Um, there's this plant right here. This is like the main plant. Then there's some hydrocotyl tripartita. You can see right there. There's some moss. Um, there's this thing right here. It kind of looks like some kind of cryptocarini, but not so sure what that is. 
exactly there's one more plant this thing right here it grows tall i know it grows tall and skinny kind of like a a, a green a spring onion but i have no clue what on earth that is now all we got to do is fill it up with water so i'm just going to use this little bucket full of water and pour it in here Okay, the setup is done. This here is gonna be its permanent spot for the time being. Uh, again, let's take a look at all these little babies. That's crazy. I really want to do a video on getting a bigger setup for these guys and just watching them grow because they are stunning. Look how small they are. I'll you know, put my hand for comparison. They are absolutely tiny and these guys are beautiful here I think you can see much better from this angle these are beautiful and look you can see some are really fat holding eggs in them these ones too really nice the red Japanese rice fish oh that one I think has eggs this one right here but the white one is beautiful too where's the white one there yeah, the white one is pretty. Look at that. I don't know why we only have one white one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Many of you want to see rice fish videos, so I'm trying to make more of them. Uh, and soon we can get some fish for this, maybe in the next week or two. So give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to this channel, and I will see you guys next time.